Dr. Gibbard was introducing live blood analysis to the extensive range of tests currently offered at her clinic. I'd like to introduce naturopath Victoria Taylor, who will be responsible for this test. Victoria, can you please tell us what is live blood analysis? Live blood analysis is a microscopic technique whereby we, the technician takes one, a single drop of blood and is able to visualize, make a visualisation of that under the microscope using dark field microscopy to be able to see the components of the blood. It's important to understand that live blood analysis is a screening technique, not a diagnostic test. Victoria, what can be seen in this test? Live blood analysis allows the client and the practitioner to be able to see the body's red blood cells, white blood cells, the platelets, as well as any bacteria or signs of fungal infection that might be present. We are also able to get a determination on the lipid profile because we are able to visualise certain fats. There may be cholesterol crystals present and there are also other crystals that can be seen like uric acid crystals. What types of health conditions could this test indicate? Live blood analysis is able to give indications of quite a number of different conditions. Liver and spleen stress, either from digestive malfunction or um, alcohol stress. Vitamin and mineral deficiencies, fungal infections, digestive upsets, predisposition to atherosclerosis dysbiosis. Um, it's also very, very helpful in, um, for, as a test for autism, spectrum disorders, epilepsy and behavioural disorders. Victoria, how is live blood analysis different from conventional blood tests? Live blood analysis allows for early intervention because we can see the signs of change at an earlier stage in the progression of the symptoms. And because we are intervening early, we get a faster reversal. Then it means that the client has, is able to reverse the condition or the symptoms of the condition with um, less drastic changes to their lifestyle and we're finding with um, diseases or conditions now that we're getting more gene expression of familial gene problems and if we get this early intervention we're able to you know, retard the amount of this expression that we get. Is it only early stage disorders that are suitable for live blood analysis? No, chronic conditions benefit very, very well and because we uh, are able to track the progress visually, we are able to make a very easy and valued evaluation of the treatment protocols that we put into place. Victoria, how long does it take to be able to see any changes? Margaret, some of the changes can be seen quite rapidly within a, a few days, but realistically for the blood profile, because some the blood components, red blood cells, white blood cells, actually have a 120 day life. So we're not going to see a completely new picture for those three months, but it's, it's quite reasonable to be able to see changes within weeks. So to finish up, Victoria, what do you see as the most important features of live blood analysis? 
the fact that people are be able to be able to see their own blood and it's often the first time that they've ever seen their own blood and the components within the blood we can see visualizations of biochemical changes that are taking place it's a very very good test for early intervention and what a lot of people don't realize is that conventional blood tests don't come out as abnormal until there's 30 percent damage in the organ being under investigation thanks for that victoria that was very interesting thank you margaret for the opportunity to bring it to everybody's attention